Hey guys, excited you're worshiping with us tonight. Uh, super excited to see each and every one of you guys here on the chat and chat with you for a little bit. Uh, here in just a second, we're going to jump into some worship. Uh, our sister Abby is going to lead us in some worship. Um, and as soon as that's over, we'll jump in the Word. Uh, if you want, go ahead and get your Bible out and turn to Philippians chapter 2. Uh, that's where we're going to be sitting uh, for a little bit tonight. I just want to talk about God's humility and how He calls us to be the light of the world um, here in, in and amongst the world. Um, and so uh, just buckle up. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, man, I encourage you during worship here in the next few minutes, just uh, lift your hands and, and offer yourself to Jesus. Uh, just allow Him to come and uh, fill, fill you up and uh, maybe take something inside of you that uh, you, you've been holding on to and you need to just relinquish and let go. So uh, let's let go and let God tonight. Uh, so here in just a few minutes, we'll jump into worship and then the message. We love you guys. Talk to you soon.
heirs with Christ. We are worthy, we are loved, we are enough. You sent your son to this earth for us and put him on a cross and, and, and let him die a death that he didn't deserve for us. So this morning as we sing, God, we give all glory, all honor, all praise to you. Death couldn't hold you in the grave. Let's just sing this out together, death. Death could not hold you, no veil torn before you, you silence the boast of sin and rain. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You have no right. i mm-hmm. 
some good worship. Uh, take just a second and just say, thank you, Abby. Good job, guys. Man, God is so good and has blessed this church with our sister, Abby, uh, to lead us in worship, um, not only here in the youth building, but also in our corporate gatherings next door. Uh, super grateful for her and her gifts that she gives back to the Lord for sure. Uh, man, I just want to give a shout out uh, because I want to I touch point right now the, the group of people that I see do what we're about to preach on and talk about tonight so, so well. Um, and that is our youth leaders at Shannon Oaks Church. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not just saying this because they're probably watching this right now and because they're leaders in our group here. Um, I'm saying it because they are truly humble people. They truly serve the Lord uh, with their, their heart and their spirit just set on loving Jesus and loving others the way that Jesus calls us um, to love them. And, um, you know, just literally, I mean, I, I, could, I could sit here and list them all and, and list everything that they do. Uh, we'd probably run out of film by the time I got done saying everything nice about them. But, uh, but the truth is, uh, man, just the opportunity that they have to show up and show out for Jesus is amazing. The fact that they do it on a weekly basis is, is amazing. And uh, so guys, I just want to give you a shout out. You know who you are, the Shane Oaks Youth Leaders. Uh, man, just super blessed by your willingness and desire to serve God and serve these students uh, the way that the Lord calls you, man. Uh, just such a blessing to get to work alongside you as we love these kids. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so as I said a minute ago, uh, we're going to talk in Philippians chapter 2, starting in verse 1. Um, so let's read this together. I'm reading out of the ESV version. Um, so if there's any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing in selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look onto his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mindset among yourselves, which is your Christ, is in your Christ, Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equally with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name so that the name of Jesus, every knee would bow in heaven and every tongue on earth um, would confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to, God, to the glory of God the Father. Now, I know um, that sounds like a lot, those 11 verses, but there's some good encouragement in here. And, and I love just how it starts off. So if there's any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, if there's any of these things, complete my joy for being of the same mind, having the same love. And this is just, I believe, just kind of a call um, that the Spirit of Jesus gives us to complete the things that we do here on earth with the love and the encouragement and participation in the spirit and the affection and the sympathy. The things that Jesus calls us to do here on earth really are simple. And when I say simple, I mean he simply calls us to love others the way that we wish to be loved, right? Um, love one another as yourself. Um, and to, to do it with the love that God has provided through Jesus for us. 
Um, and, and even, uh, you know, talking about what Jesus has done for us as far as his death for us on the cross. Like, here we are um, just a few days away from Easter Sunday. And we have no, I mean, no better time. There's always a great time to talk about what Jesus has done for us. But this is an opportunity for us to sit back and just focus on the cross and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, and knowing that Jesus took the cross for me is, is crazy. Knowing that he took the cross for my wife and my kids is amazing. Knowing that he took it for my family is incredible. Knowing that he took it for everybody that I know is just wild, beyond my wildest imagination. Could I ever think that one person could do what he did for everyone so that everyone could have eternal life. Man, that's sacrifice. That's love. That's um, peace spoken over us so that we know that it's not all on us and we can rest and rely on Jesus. But focusing in on Easter Sunday coming up, uh, that we get to focus on the resurrection of Jesus. Not only that he beat sin uh, by taking it on the cross and, and dying with the sins of the world on his shoulders, but then he beat death by coming back to life and resurrection. Such a symbol for us to remember through the rest of this week as we continue leaning forward on Sunday. And we hope that you join us uh, Sunday morning um, online at Shannon Oaks Church. Uh, Shannon Oaks Church online. You can find us at our website, shannonoakschurch.com, and hit that online link. Uh, we'd be super glad to have you guys join us and chat in and let us know. So uh, I do want to give a push right here in the chat comment, uh, where if this is, if you're seeing this on Facebook, uh, put down in the comments of this. Uh, would love to see and hear from you guys as far as what the Lord is calling you uh, to speak life into, to speak love into. Uh, it may be a situation that you've got that's just a little difficult, or uh, it may be a normal relationship situation that um, you just know that you need to let the Lord work through you. So just as he said, uh, to let everything be done in comfort from love and participation in the spirit and affection and sympathy. What are some areas of your life that you need to extend some um, some patience, some uh, sympathy, some affection, uh, some love? Those things are real uh, in our lives. And, and, and for me, a lot of times, honestly, it's just, it's just patience with uh, not letting some of the small things that happens inside my family at home, you know, get the, get the best of me or affect me or just know, hey, kids three and under are going to draw on the wall. Okay, it's going to happen. So get a magic eraser and, and get busy. Um, they're going to spill their food time and time and time and time again. Uh, we're in the process of adopting um, a kid and, and uh, his, his name's Luke. Um, and man, we love him so stinking much, it's unreal. But let me tell you, that kid drops his spoon like 20 times every meal. And sometimes I think he just does it to watch us pick it up, right? And all the grandparents are laughing. Uh, but I'm telling you, like, it's just, it can get frustrating sometimes when that spoon is full of macaroni and cheese or rice, you know what I'm saying? And so there's a mess and you're constantly being out picking up the spoon and you're just thinking, you know what? Love, sympathy, patience, peace. I love you, Luke. Uh, and, uh, you know, 10 years from now when you watch this video on YouTube and it has 11 hits, uh, maybe you'll laugh at this as well. Um, can't wait to finally get to adopt you. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. But uh, let's continue moving forward as we walk in that light that Jesus has given us, freedom from our sin um, and death that he took on the cross as we're looking forward to Easter Sunday. Um, I want to encourage you with this as we continue down in verse 12 of Philippians chapter 2. Um, just a call to be lights in the world. Uh, so verse 12, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to, to will and to work for his good, good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling. And all I can hear right now is my mom singing that song. Do everything without complaining. Do as you're doing laundry, as you're doing the yard, as you're mowing the grass, as you're doing the dishes. And I'm just like, okay, mom, I'm 28. You don't have to sing the song to me anymore. Okay. Do everything without grumbling and without disputing that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish in the midst of crooked, twisted generations among whom you shine as a light 
in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be, I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Even if I, to be poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrifice offerings of faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you also should be glad and rejoice with me. Couple of calls right here to be lights in the world, guys. We are called to do everything without grumbling and complaining. Let me tell you something. Those of you guys who are still going to Walmart, okay, um, it is the easiest thing in the world to gripe, grumble, and complain when you're standing in the walk drive through line or uh, walk through line, checkout line at Walmart, okay? The easiest thing in the world to do is to gripe and complain during that time uh, because generally speaking, there's not enough cashiers at Walmart. I think we could all agree with that, all right? Um, everything's about disinfectant, and they, now I think they've actually limited uh, no more than 100 people in the store at one time, and it's just all of these things are inconvenient for us, first world problems, um, but we're still called to be the light of this world and, and to do everything without grumbling and complaining. And so uh, the last couple of times I've had to run to Walmart or Lowe's, you know, it's just important to, to remember that the people in front or behind you are kind of dealing with the same stuff. You're, you're not special. I'm not special. Uh, we're dealing with some stuff. But if we will just lean into being the light of Jesus and remember what he's called us to do, uh, to respond with love, do all things without grumbling or disputing or blaming or being uh, uh, considered blemish on other people with this crooked, twisted generation. Um, but here's an encouragement for you guys. Knowing that nothing that you do in Jesus' name is going to be done in vain. Knowing nothing that you do to extend your hand out to somebody else because of what Jesus has done for you, none of that will be labored in vain or done in vain. It's super important to know that Jesus honors them. And God calls us to do these things in His presence for His glory. That's His plan for our life. Um, and, and verse 17, even if I am to be poured out like a drink offering upon the sacrificial offerings of your faith, so be it. If we will just know that um, as we completely give ourselves to other people for the Lord's sake, for the gospel's sake, man, God is going to fill our cup back up. And we do it for Him anyways. And so just kind of a challenge to you guys um, tonight and in the days to come. Just a few things. Uh, do everything out of love. Do everything out of uh, peace and, and grace and uh, abundance the way that the Lord um, has called you to do it in. Um, I want you to think right now of a personal example and just take a few minutes as a personal example um, of something that someone has extended love and encouragement and peace and grace and mercy to you um, over a situation that you did not deserve that. Um, and here in just a few minutes, uh, when we end this message, I encourage you to kind of take a few minutes. I'm going to put just a few minutes of music, um, uh, just songs playing at the end of this live feed, uh, just for you to just kind of sit maybe as a family and just think about or talk about, or you to sit as a student or you to sit as an adult and just sit and think about times where somebody else went out of their way to extend love and peace to you. Uh, times when you know you deserve some grumbling and complaining, but somebody extended the verse, do everything without complaining, do everything without grumbling uh, to you. And, and you didn't catch flack for it. Um, it's super important for us to continue being those people, uh, especially in this microwave generation, generation that we live in. Uh, and then even then how kind of socialization has slowed down. Um, it gives us an opportunity to really kind of focus on the small things and, and be a little bit more patient with things. Um, so I'm encouraging you guys, just focus on what the Lord's calling you to focus on right now. Focus on where the Lord's calling you to show some, some love and um, some extension of grace. Uh, focus on the things that you typically grumble about that He's calling you to just kind of have some patience with. Um, and then extend that with somebody. Uh, just give them the opportunity that God has given you, and that's to be forgiven. Um, so uh, let's pray, and we're going to wrap up tonight. God, you are so good. And Lord, this time we've had uh, to dig in your message, God, may it just be glorifying to you. Uh, Lord, we honor you in everything that you do for us. And we're just honored to take 10 minutes and, and look at your word and kind of give a, a charge and a receiving a calling that you give for us. 
So fathers, we just take a few minutes just to reflect on what you've called us to do. Maybe somebody needs to just read back over Philippians chapter 2 um, and just see what you have for them, God. Just, Lord, speak to us now that we may be the people that you've called us to be. Lord, we want to honor you in all that we do. We bring you glory. We bring you praise. We bring you honor. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You guys take a minute and just think about what the Lord's calling you to do.